This is part two of our move the water to the basement video. This, uh, my name is Mark. This is my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. In the first video, we talked about what I'm going to do. In this video, I'm going to start talking about and actually doing some of the work. We're going to disassemble a lot of this, get this out of here. But in general, we need to take this water tank out, out first. To do it, this bottom strip needs to come off. There's some pocket screws on either side, no big deal. Um, some um, uh, hose clamps to take off. And when I put the bigger sink in, I put an, a really nice um, access panel to the back, um, a cover that I made so that I can get to all the hoses back behind. Yay, like that part. So let's go ahead and yank that tank. See you okay. There's the base plate that comes out, just pocket screws, no big deal. And now I should be able to slide out the water tank. Alrighty then. There is the water tank. It's out. That's the fill neck. That's the vent line. And there is the pickup. That is the space that my wife is going to get back for storage. Isn't that nice? Almost double her space almost double our space excellent so we'll get this out of here get this cleaned up down in there um start looking at the pipes and how i need to get them um down but we are looking good back in a bit okay some of this is going to be a little slow going but uh this was the pickup line and it used to go on there that picked up water from under the don't need it anymore this hole that was the overflow and vent line and i need to fill that and seal that underneath the trailer put a lot of caulk under it clean it all up plug that up that up there this this was the filler neck so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to extend that filler neck across the top of this cabinet go in a hole right there and drop down into where my new because my gray tank is under here my freshwater tank my gray tank is under here my freshwater tank is under here so i'm going to have to extend that that filler neck across into this cabinet and drop it down no big deal i'm also going to take these two these are the uh, um, control wires um, for light switches and stuff and this is the um, Romex uh, street power that runs the fridge um, connection. So I'm going to move those up there. So what I'm going to use is this area here, up here, for all my pipes that need to connect my new line. And all the electrical is going to be up there. So that's going to take some doing. But uh, we're going to do it. The other thing I'm going to need to do when we're done is I need to make another cover access um, panel for this area um, straighten this all up um, and uh, just go at it like that so that's our next step we're going to start investigating where these wires go and what it's going to take to move them from there up to the top okay See in a bit. we're investigating where those wires go really nice part here's our shelf underneath the fridge or a cabinet underneath the sweat fridge let me get a light in there for you Look at that. There's the black wire. Those two wires that are here, there they are on this side. And you can see they come from up there anyway. So that's gonna be nice. I'm not gonna have to do much anything. I just have to disconnect one of the ends that's in the fridge and move them on up. Um, patch up that hole, we'll be good to go. So it'll go 
straight up and across the top rather than the bottom so it won't be uh, interfering with uh, all the things that my wife needs to store back here excellent so we're uh, we're good to go there I need to investigate about the uh, this uh, water fill that's here and how I can get it across. I think I can get it in behind the fridge. Um, shouldn't be any trouble. I'll take the stove off, lift the stove up to look and, and see about that so I can come straight across here and drop down into it too. But uh, looking good. Okay, here we are in the bathroom. This is that cabinet in the back and there's my water pump. We're now gonna do some investigation about taking that water pump off and you can see down in here let's see if i can get down in here there's the uh fill neck and all the gear this is going to make it nice um the uh, intake and the outlet i just disconnect these guys there are the cables that run the water pump itself and you see they all run down there so since it comes from down there, it's going to be nice to be able to put it right back up where it belongs. So, next step, let's start disconnecting um, these, uh, these uh, devices here, the plumbing here, so that I can get this all out of here and uh, uh, continue on with the um, deinstallation of everything. Looks pretty straightforward. You can see the water, the input um, is right there, comes up, goes around through the filter into the pump then it goes back down to the pressure side so um, really no big deal that entire input line um, can disappear because that um, there's no need to have it here but the output line I'll cut back and uh, um, reattach to the other side but uh, looking good let's take this water okay, pump out. here we are taking the water pump out there's a screw here a screw here hoses come off just like that it's all uh, really really straightforward so let's go ahead and take this out of here okay so there's water pump out pretty straightforward um, just two wires that run to it pump itself this is the pump itself it's a pressure switch there's the uh, filter this is a check valve and this is line that used to connect to this guy that's one of those kits evidently the previous owner put on a uh, glycol pickup line on here that's part of a kit um, I don't use glycol so I don't think I'm putting that back on but uh, so that's the stuff that's going underneath the trailer excellent let's go take a look at the space we've gained here okay wow now you can start to see um, what's actually going on in there. Let me get a light in there. So you can see the pickup line. That was the pickup line. That's going to disappear. That's the output line. That's also going to disappear. And the only thing I need to share here is with this vent line. And no big deal. Um, goes across. That goes to the outside. That goes to the outside of the trailer. Um, that uh, picks up the, uh, lets the gas out. Um, so we're getting pretty close to being completely disassembled. Um, I need to cut those lines back and take that one out, that kind of stuff. We'll keep at it until it's all out of here. Okay, with all, with nearly all of the demolition done and the removal of everything out, um, it's time to start thinking about moving the uh, wires and stuff. Yeah, prep this cabinet. So if you look at this piece of Romax, this is street power, and it goes in here. But if you look back in here, it just heads up and heads to this outlet right here. Um, no big deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off. That's the outlet that runs the fridge. Um, I'm going to take that outlet off, pull the Romax up, and... Uh, Re, rerun it across. Um, no big deal. Okay, I have disconnected the Romex from the uh, outlet. Remember, turn off your street power before doing this. You've been warned. <laughs> so now I'm going to pull that cable back down through all the way into this cabinet and back 
and reroute it. Um, I'll drill a new hole way up back here. I'll drill a new hole way up in the back. Um, get that routed right. So we'll go drill a hole. Okay, I have the uh, a new holes drilled here and here and over there for these two wires to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is fish back the Romex and run it across and then I'm going to fish back. These are the 12 volt lines that run the fridge um, to um, the green and the yellow are 12 volts. The two whites are grounds. So I need to feed that back, bring them from that hole, that hole, and then tie them up at the top. That's so that um, anything that my wife puts down here won't be rubbing on these wires and cause any kind of shorts or anything long term. So we're going to go ahead and move them up. Okay, it's going to struggle. But that uh, Romex cable that used to go between here and here is now up at the top. I'll put some uh, wire uh, clips up there to hold it up on top, but it's now coming out here um, where I will reconnect that outlet to it. Um, pretty straightforward. Sorry about the light flickering like this. This is just uh, my uh, that the flashlight that I have is LED and it blinks like that. So we're going to uh, connect that guy up. And next, we're going to take this guy out. Um, like I say, two grounds. One of these wires, the, the green one, comes from the trailer, or from the tow vehicle to run the 12 volts, and the other one comes from the converter. So you can run uh, 12 volts here. So I'll need to turn both of those off and uh, reroute that cable from that hole to the other hole there get it up out of the way too. So we'll get at it. Okay, so I've got to extend the uh, 12 volt supply lines to the fridge. So I'm soldering them and heat shrinking them, color coding them the same. So I, I can uh, route these cables in the new path. Uh, okay, no we're having success. All those wires that were running here are now up there. I'm going to tie wrap them up, make them neat, but uh, that's much nicer. Um, this will all be clear. Vacuum this all up. I need to take this out. That was the original pickup. Uh, we don't need that anymore, um, especially not in here. And uh, we'll, uh, <laughs> you're getting close. Anyway, ordered the uh, tank today. Um, should be here in a few days and we'll mount that underneath But I'm going to continue to work on cleaning this up. My next stop Is here if you look see those The blue and the red pipe the hot water lines and cold water lines that go to the sink um, They are in the way here, so I'm going to move Move them from here over there It'll free up more space in here also. So that's next. Okay, we are cleaning this cabinet up really nice. And look, I've moved the uh, two uh, hot and cold water faucets that were right here. I moved them down here. So there they are over in the corner. I'm gonna tie these wires up. But look at all that space that's available now. I'm going to make a cover um, for this and that. Um, I've just got to get the uh, water pickup from where the tank was um, stripped back, um, clean up a little bit, and I'm good to go. Yay, what a day. We're going to call it quits here. Um, <laughs> this video is long enough. So stay part, stay tuned for part three, where we continue with this project. But good, good progress today. I've got much more space under the sink and much more space here. Um, that'll be great. So see you next time for part three.